Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeline Andrews. For local families who do not have English as their first language, it can be challenging for parents to understand and be involved in their child's learning. Here with me this morning is Melissa Allers, the Translation Services Coordinator for ACES Translation Services. Melissa, thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you. All right, wonderful. So first, you just want to walk me through the services your department offers. Sure. So we offer both written translation and verbal interpretation for any types of documents, meetings. Um, although we do partner with local businesses and nonprofits, our primary area of focus are school systems. So being able to provide that educational interpretation to support families and um, giving them that opportunity to be part of their multilingual learners school journey. Yeah, wonderful. And now making sure families understand what's going on at school is not only benefiting those parents, those kids, right. but also the school. T talk about that. Absolutely. So it's giving the school the opportunity to be able to best communicate with the families because schools want family involvement. They want that parental involvement. So giving this um, opportunity to both schools and families brings it right together for everyone. Yeah, it's something that benefits everyone, right? Yes. Okay, now last year, the Parent Bill of Rights was passed in Connecticut. Now, this legislation clarifies the rights for multilingual learners and their parents or guardians. What are some of the key points of this legislation? Yes, so this was huge for Connecticut, and I applaud it, and I'm so happy for it. So uh, basically, it's allowing those families to have school communications in their native language for their uh, students to be able to participate in bilingual programs. So even if it's school notices that come back and forth or uh, interpretation for parent-teacher conferences, special education meetings, just to have those open lines of communication for families and to give them a comfort level that may, may not have with English as maybe some families may struggle with English, but to have it in their native language to, um, again, give them what they need for their student success. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine it provides some relief for yes. parents to feel like they can be involved yes. in you know, what their kids are learning, and also the school feels safe that everyone's on the same page. Exactly, exactly. Yep. Okay, and you guys have a workshop coming up, and that's a week from today. It, that is yes. the 25th of the March. The 25th, breaking barriers and building bridges is coming up and basically it's aimed towards educators, administrators, anyone aiding in interpretation uh, for multilingual families in the school, giving them the cultural frames of reference that they need, that toolkit, interpreter's toolkit, um, using the interpreter code of ethic to be able to ensure a smooth um, meeting so everyone is on the same page like you said and it, everyone is understanding of the goals for those students. All right and where can people learn more or, or sign up for that? Sure, aces.org, search translation services, and our information is right on there. Okay, wonderful. Melissa, Great. thanks so much Thank for your you. time today. Okay, now that will uh, do it for this segment. Again, that is aces.org slash services slash services dash translation. And of course, we'll also have that linked on our website, wtnh.com. Stay with us after the break.